ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ಸದ್ಗುರವಿ ನಮಃ ಹರಿಯೋ ಮನ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ವನ್ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೈ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೌ ದಿ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಚೋಸನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ 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 Uh, what is this rrr how did i come about how did this uh, topic come about i was uh, traveling and coming in our coimbatore city only having gone somewhere and in my mind uh, that uh, topic has to be given was uh, running and at that time there was a call from my uh, from swami advayanand ji and i said uh, i need to give a topic can you suggest a topic he said no no you have to choose a topic by yourself and you know at that time the car was passing through a coffee shop and in the coffee shop three words were standing very out very much outside for me to see and those three words were relax refresh repeat this was the word okay so i just looked at it and i said this looks like a nice topic if we put it ulta so it will go as repeat and then reflect and then relax so that is how this topic was chosen and um, uh, now we enter into this topic and it is like repeat you know by now because your uh, the project that is being taken up is to repeat the name of pooja gurudev right so repeat reflect and then relax this way the topic we will be seeing now all of us have been given so many instruments like eyes ears like that so many instruments are there all these instruments can be classified into two types one is those yeah you will immediately what will come to our mind will be jnana indriyas karma indriyas but i am not going like that two types some instruments which function on their own i need not do anything for them for example lungs heart and then the kidney and all of them they function by themselves i need not do anything for them and then there are other instruments which also may function by themselves but still i can have a choice of giving a direction to those instruments for example my head hands my legs and all of them i can give a direction walk uh, let me not walk this side i will go this side yeah so i can change up i can modify i have a choice about how i can get them operated so like this also we have some instruments now wherever i have a choice of how to utilize those instruments what do i choose am i choosing something which will make me go towards shreyas shreyas means that which is good or am i choosing something which will make me go th- towards the path of the pleasant uh, this is how our uh, uh, in kathopanishad shreya and preya two paths always open before us so these instruments where am i making them go am i making them move towards what is good or what is not so good towards that am i making them move this choice comes in among all those instruments which on which i can exercise a choice that is my eyes my ears my tongue my hands my legs like that all those instruments over which i can exercise a choice there also among all these instruments that i have there are two instruments which are very very special for me as a human being now you can start thinking what are those two instruments two instruments which are very very special for me as a human being which means these instruments in that capacity is not available for any other being out of the 84 lakh species only the human species have those two instruments as a special instruments not any other 83 lakh species they don't have now what are those things the first thing that will come to anyone's mind will be our intellect so intellect is something that is very unique for the human being not because just it can think because thinking even my dog will do even our goshala uh, cows which are there will do 
Uh, if I go with the grass, they will come towards me. If I take a stick and go, they will move away from me. So that thinking they also have. So there's something else which is very, very beautiful for a human being with reference to the thinking aspect. Okay. Same way, the other instrument, which is very, very special for a human being can... Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, there is a message that has come for me. Confirm your speaking language, English. Can I just save it and move forward, Dharmanju? Yeah. Okay. So, one instrument which we have just seen is our uh, buddhi or our intellect that we have seen. Now, the other instrument which is special as a human being. Can anyone who is here say that one other special instrument that we have got? Anyone can unmute and say. We just try. All of us will be uh, saying something. One is our intellect. Definitely different from all other species. There is another instrument also. Which we have got. Very different from all other species. Anyone who can think of something? Ma, they all cannot unmute. Oh, they all cannot <laughs> unmute. It's very bad. Okay. okay, okay. I'll make them. I'll open it no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll open it up. No, unmuting them. Thank so, you. Yes, sir, I'm doing it. Ah. Yes, done, Amma. They can unmute themselves. Yeah, mind it is. It is a mind. It is a mind. Discriminative intellect. Amma, you're on mute. Amma is on mute. Amma. You're on, uh, you're on mute. Ah, but, ah, right. So, uh, uh, the mind and intellect I have clubbed as one number and discriminative intellect you have said that is very beautiful. One more instrument which is different for us when compared to all other 83 lakh species. What is that instrument? We go. Wisdom. Wisdom. Shall I say? So now yes. I will move forward. Okay. The next instrument which is very special is our mouth. Our mouth is very special for us. Now, you have, yeah, true, very true. One is our intellect, the other one is our mouth. Okay, what is so special about our mouth? I have such a small mouth, my cow has such a big mouth. Okay, my cow has such a big mouth, but still, and in fact, mouth is used for eating. How much I eat, my cow will eat at least 20 times more than me. How much water I drink, my cow will drink at least 20 times more water than me. Then the mouth has to be special for the cow only, no? But no, in Tamil we have a saying that my cow, though it eats so much, we call it as Vaiilla Jeevan. Paav Vaiilla Jeevan, like that. Uh, I'm sure that uh, such a uh, terminology will be there in other Indian languages also. Uh, we say it is Vaiilla Jeevan. Just because someone is eating, we can't say that the mouth is special because all species eat. Then what is special about this mouth of a human being? I can speak. That speaking, that communication, that is what is special for me as a human being because of this mouth. Now, if something is specially available, then it means that it is there for a specific special purpose. Something which is specially given to me. Something which is specially given to me. And I find my Bhaskaranji is big on the screen. Uh, is it like that for everyone? Or it is like that only for me? I don't know. Okay. Mm. So, if something is... Uh, Manju? I will, I will put you in spotlight, Amma. Okay, Manju. Yes, sir. Okay. You will be seen. Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, see how much I want all of you to look at me. Uh, see that? Okay. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> let's move forward. Uh, so, this mouth is something which is very, very special for me as a human being. 
anything that has been given to me specially must be used for a higher purpose. Right? Some gift I have given to you. If you have just thrown it away, then uh, uh, one is you don't respect me. You don't have any regard. And another thing is you do not know what to do with that gift. So you have thrown it away. Right? So lack of knowledge. Because of ignorance also, you might not be using that instrument in the right way. Now, if this mouth is so special, because it can speak, then I must put this mouth for the highest gain. And what is that highest gain? Highest gain is to get the grace of the Lord, also Guru. Guru and God are different. Who says like that? One saint has said this. Guru and God are different, say the ignorant people. The wise say Guru is God. Both are same only. Also, our Gurudev will say, Guru is one step ahead. Why you know? Because Guru is God customized for me. According to my size, if I make this blouse, it is good. Otherwise, it is not good, right? So, for me, customized is the Guru. So, this mouth which is there for a special purpose, which is receiving the grace or the blessings of God or Guru. Both are the same. Okay, how do I receive these blessings? Mouth, use it for the highest purpose. Today, what am I doing? And in fact, uh, we have to congratulate Chinmaya Mission Mumbai for having come out with this project, which is Ekadasha Koti Nama Japa of Gurudev. So what, what have we done in the process? We have encouraged 500 plus people who have enrolled in this project. We know only people who have enrolled. But there are other people where when I am chanting, like for example, when I go, went to Chinmaya Surya, our center, on Sunday, all of them were sitting and chanting, Om Shri Chinmaya Sadgurave Namaha. They were doing it 108 times. And then counting how many people were there. Okay, they were doing 108 times. So we are counting how many people are there sitting and chanting, Om Shri Chinmaya Sadgurave Namaha. But there are hundreds of people who have come into that place and gone out of that place during that time who have also taken through their years Om Shri Chinmaya Sadgurave Namaha and this Nama of our Pujya Gurudev has come into their heart already. Means silent, vocally silent. But that name has come. We are not counting such people but already registered in uh, data. Like that we have so many people who are chanting meticulously, taking or repeating the name of Pooja Gurudev meticulously because of this project which has been taken up by Chinmaya Mission Mumbai. And uh, for that, uh, uh, I have to th uh, thank them. I express my gratitude to them. And because of this satsang, no, even I could uh, uh, think about uh, this particular topic, a little satsang here, there, it is much beneficial more only to me. So gratitude to the organizers also. Okay, now this mouth is there. Huh? And what should I do with this mouth? What should I do with this mouth? I have to use this mouth in such a way that I get the highest gain. Now, suppose someone is going to ask me to go and receive someone from the airport. What do I do? For example, our Amrita, I must pick, uh, receive her from the airport in uh, Coimbatore airport. How? What will I do? I have not seen Amrita. Okay, I have seen her now. But I will forget her image also. What do I do? I go there and I only write her name in the placard and show it there. So to identify someone, one is her form. And the other one is her name. Form also can change, but this name will not change. You see how beautiful it is. Form may change, but this name is not going to change. I show that name and then I receive her and come. So if I have to find someone, identification is through name and form. This is the gross identification. We always make it through name and form only. Okay, this name... Through this mouth, I have to keep repeating, keep repeating. Why? What is the purpose? Why should I take the name of Gurudev and keep repeating? Now I am hungry. I am hungry. Not definitely, but imagine I am hungry. Then what will you say? If you are hungry, what I have to do is I have to eat. I am hungry means I must eat. What should I eat? 
अरे देर आर सो मेनी प्लेटी ऑफ थिंग्स अवेलेबल दोसा इज देर इडली इज देर वड़ा इज देर पोंगल इज देर ऑल साउथ इंडियन आइटम्स यू आर सेंग अम्मा इट्स ओके ओके सो ऑल दिस सो मेनी प्लेटी आर अवेलेबल सो वॉट टू ईट प्लेटी इज अवेलेबल ओके हाउ टू ईट how to eat there also various methods are there eat with your hand eat with the spoon eat with the fork eat with the knife and then uh, japanese people they have two sticks uh, and then chopstick eat with chopstick or oh, eat anyway but eat right so how to eat also plenty is there but the result of all these things what to eat how to eat leave it result of eating what it should do is yes my stomach is full i am happy satisfied this is what should happen i am hungry whatever i do what i eat how i eat does not matter much but end result must be stomach full same way in this life as we are going are i am confused i don't know what to do i am afraid yes i am studying very well but will i get a job doubt afraid hmm okay i got it also but many times satisfaction is not there i feel unhappy i feel sad i am in sorrow so any of these symptoms if it is there i am hungry some sound is coming from inside my stomach like that any of these symptoms it is called shoka moha bhaya any of these symptoms if it is there what i should do go on a journey what is this journey this journey is called spiritual journey and what should i do in this spiritual journey so what is my first question what should i do are it plenty available each one can have one one way uh, proportionate mixing also you can do of karma bhakti jnana yoga like that so plenty available what i should do how i should do i can go ahead in this journey by taking up the path of brahmacharya also grahasthashrama also vanaprastha also sanyas also yeah do anything how to eat like that how to go about anyway but then end result what the end result should be have i got happiness sukha shanti has it come if sukha and shanti has come journey is over this is how we have to proceed and our gurudev knowing this had embraced all of us you can be in any ashram see in chinmay prerana uh, uh, prayer itself our guruji has beautifully said you can come out of bhakti love right you can come out of karma seva huh? seva for seva you can come in the prayer song that uh, shloka was being uh, uh, chanted or you can come out of i want to know knowledge you can come any way so what how does not matter have i got sukha and shanti that is what gurudev was guiding us towards now in this journey there will be many symbols okay when i go on the road driving there are many symbols sharp curve symbol is there in between the road no one straight line and then gap is there straight line gap straight line white color it means that from this side to this side i can go to overtake but suppose that straight line is continuous without gap it means that i should not overtake uh, overtake in that road i must go in, the, in this path only now so many instructions okay pedestrian crossing some line 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 okay so many instructions are there as symbols if i follow them good it is good for me same way in the spiritual journey the visible symbols for us what all of all of us can see can know that visible symbol is the name of gurudev is the form of gurudev and it can be the instructions of gurudev or the upadesha of gurudev which we listen which we uh, hear uh, which we read uh, which is available and uh, so many websites of chinmaya mission through which all those instructions come and reach us so these are the visible symbols okay among this name and these other visible symbols name occupies a very very special place why what is it so special now suppose uh, i am coming i am going to uh, i want to look at the form of gurudev i want to look at the form of gurudev what i have to do is 
I have to go to Bombay, Pawai Ashram, and see there, Gurudev's Murthy is there. And then I look at the form of Gurudev. Or I go to my room, Puja altar, and I have got a, a, a form of Gurudev there, and I am looking at the form of Gurudev. So if I have to look at the form of Gurudev, I have to go to a particular place, only in a particular thing or place, I can look at the form of Gurudev. Also, the form of Gurudev which I see, for my understanding, need not be Gurudev, right? Because I am seeing the form of Gurudev, all of us can't say that all of us will see that form of Gurudev as Gurudev there. We can't say. Yeah? For someone, that form can just be a statue, can just be a picture, right? But the name of Gurudev, for everyone, it is the same. Name of Gurudev is name only, it can't change. But form of Gurudev can mean different for different people. If it is a goldsmith or someone, he will start looking at how much gold will be there in it, right? But in name of Gurudev, it is a name for everyone. And the tongue, which is a special instrument, must be put for special purpose to gain the grace and blessings of the Lord or the Guru. In Sadhana Panchakam, there is a statement which comes like this. Papa ogaf paridhu yatam. All the papa, dosha of our tongue can be thrown away, can be moved away. How? By just taking this general name of the Lord or name of the Guru. It will just go away. Now, what is the dosha of our tongue? Our tongue has accumulates dosha over time. Dosha means demerit over time in the form of telling false words. Okay, So, telling a lie is a dosha for the tongue. Also, without thinking, speaking in such a way that I hurt others. So, this is harsh words which I give out. Because of that also dosha comes to the tongue. Only four ways, okay? One is untruth. Then the other one is speaking words which are very harsh. And therefore, dosha comes to the tongue. Another thing is speaking behind a person about that person. Speaking behind, negatively about a person. Then also there is dosha which I accumulate for my tongue. Also, many times I am just speaking something. There is no purpose at all. Words which don't have any benefit at all, that I am using. So all these are doshas of the tongue and all these doshas get removed by taking the name of the Lord or name of the Guru. And see how beautifully every day so many of us are taking the name of the Guru and in Chinmaya Mission Mumbai, specific name, Om Shri Chinmaya Satgurave Namaha, like that name is being taken. Also, when we have to take a name, you can take it any time, every time, anyone can take, right? If I am unwell, suppose I got COVID, okay? Will you allow me to come into Chinmaya Prerna Ashram? Will you allow? You will not allow. You will definitely not allow. But can you stop me from taking the name of Gurudev? No, right? So name of Gurudev, anytime, by anyone, young, old, uh, no cost, all returns. We keep on taking. Now, why should I keep on repeating the name of Gurudev? One time if I say, Om Shri Chinmay Sadguravai Namaha, is it not enough? Is it not enough? Why should I take continuously? Now, suppose, okay, here I have a magazine here, the week it is written. Okay, in this, in one page, I am writing something. Will you be able to see from the other side what I have written on this page? You won't be able to see. But if I keep on writing over it again and again and again, from the other side also, you will be able to see. Now, in our life, so many unnecessary things we have put. Viparita Bhavana, it is called. So many times we have repeated that Viparita Bhavana to us. And we are not able to come out of that habit. 
And so what I have to do, repeat again and again so that opposite habit gets formed and it blesses us. So this way, we keep taking the name of Gurudev and the name of Rama is greater than Rama himself. That is why our uh, uh, Vanarasena wrote Rama name. They just said Ram and then they pu uh, put the stone down and the stone was uh, uh, floating on top of the ocean. Same way, we take the name of Gurudev and we float on top of that Samsara Sagara. Sagara means ocean. Samsara, uh, ocean of change. We don't go inside it. We are just floating on top of it. Only if I float on top of it, help comes through as Upadesha. And then I get into the ship of knowledge. And once I get into the ship of knowledge, I can go to the shore happily and safely. Therefore, the first step is take the name of Gurudev. Float on the ocean of samsara. Help surely is going to come. Get into that ship of knowledge. You, you may find it difficult to uh, get in because they are saying give your hand. But I am very afraid of giving anything because I am used to taking only. But don't bother. Okay, our Gurudev will say, take my hand and he will give his hand and he will pull us on top. So float, to float on top, yes, I need to keep uh, taking the name of our Pooja Gurudev. Keep on taking his name. Now, uh, so that is the special instrument mouth and this tongue which can speak. And with that, I take the name of Gurudev. The next special instrument is our uh, buddhi, the buddhi, our intellect. What should I do with it? In Katopanishad, there is one mantra which goes, uh, uh, which uh, which goes to say like this. Okay, so I have an intellect, and this intellect is the charioteer. Okay, charioteer is the intellect. Just imagine the chariot, uh, chariot there, and the charioteer is the intellect, and uh, this charioteer is holding the reins. Reins means those ropes sort of thing. Reins in the hand. And these reins is the mind. Okay. And this rein is connected to, these ropes are connected to our senses, which are the horses. So my eye, ear, nose, horses. And they are running into the field. Into which field they are running? They are running into Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Gandha. Okay, so taste, smell, sight and all those fields, these senses are running. These horses are running. Now, these reins must be in my control. Only if it is in my control, that is the charioteer's control, charioteer has to hold the mind, the reins, very tightly so that he is able to direct the horses, which are the senses, into the right direction. Naturally, the senses, the horses want to run into what is pleasant, what may not give me so much of goodness. Into that they will, which is our articles, beings and circumstances, towards that our senses will be running. The mind is carried by the senses. That is, they are not under the control of the charioteer and they run like this. But the Upanishad says, the one who is able to, the buddhi, the intellect, which is able to hold tightly the reins, then this buddhi, this charioteer will be able to direct the senses towards D, so far under articles being circumstances. In and through those articles, beings and circumstances, what is D, divinity? Towards them, my journey will start and uh, I will reach the destination which is divinity itself. So this way, there is a mantra in the Kato Upanishad. Our Gurudev was a merging point of Nirgune Nishchala Nishta Sagune Sarasarati. Naturally, it was happening. Saguna also happily. Nirguna also established in that. And what did he do? He gave for all of us a path where you are a Saguna person, no problem. Saguna, Sakara, no problem. Nirguna, Nirakara, you want? No problem. All of us have a field to move ahead. And that is the field which our Gurudev has given us. And how did Gurudev go about with it? I uh, remember this particular example. Okay, so there is a child, okay, a small child. 
Now, what is this child doing? Any book that comes into this hand. So here is one uh, Balavihar magazine. Can you see this? This goes into my child's hand. And what is the child doing? Take every page, tear it into small, small pieces and put it down and make the whole place like garbage, like that. So this is what my child is doing. It wants to tear everything and put it down. Ah, what will a mother do? Are you're not supposed to tear this. But my child, no, if I say, no, you must not tear this, it gets very annoyed and it start, starts shouting like anything, crying like anything that the neighboring uh, house person will come and ask what happened in your house. So I, I'm not able to stop or take away that book from my child or stop my child uh, from tearing it because it is shouting so much. Okay, suppose the child is listening also. It is not tearing only till the time that I'm standing and watching it. The moment I turn my attention towards the kitchen or towards my study, immediately this child, what is it doing? Again, it starts tearing. Our Gurudev saw all of us like a small child only. What are we doing? We are attached to so many things. Attached to so many things. Someone wants comforts. Someone wants money. Someone wants fame. Someone wants name. Someone wants to learn and gather knowledge. Each one of us different, different. And all of us are running behind something. Gurudev saw this. Okay. Like that mother who saw that the child is staring away something. This intelligent mother, what she does is she gets lots of papers in the house which have to be torn. Some documents, I don't want them to be outside. My own diary also, personal diary, one year over. Now I want every page to be torn and put into small, small pieces. This intelligent mother will bring the diary and give it to the child and leave it there. Now the child will happily tear everything it will tear. Uh, power supply is off here, but it will come back soon. I will continue speaking. You can definitely see my uh, teeth, okay, which is talking, right? So now this mother, like how she goes and puts uh, this particular uh, diary and the child is continuously tearing it. And then the mother will put a dustbin and then say, now pick up all that you have torn and put it into the dustbin. That also becomes a, a work for the child and it enjoys. So it tears and puts, same thing is collected and put back into the dustbin. So the room, which was clean, got dirty with its tearing, put back into the dustbin, the room again becomes neat and clean. Same way, our Gurudev looked at all of us. What? You want to earn money? Earn lot of money. He encouraged us. He blessed us also. So we started earning money also. Collect everything. And then what is the problem in that? Problem is it is all mine. That is the problem. So what I have done is I am collecting so many things as mine, mine. Now our Gurudev said, go ahead. He encouraged all of us. Utsaha Vardhakaya Namaha. Encouraged all of us. Wherever our interest is, no problem at all. Collect, earn lot of money. And then what did he do? Having accumulated so much, now he created such a big field where we can disperse all these things off. Yeah, right. We have lots of energy and I am doing exercise and this and that and yes. And then Gurudev gave a field where come serve. He gave a field like that for us. I want to learn, study, study, learn. Yeah, learn. Learn, study. Swadhyaya. Now start giving. Pravachana. And when you ask doubt, I will understand. Are I don't know anything at all. So smash that ego. Right? And you are continuing in your field. See how beautifully he made. You earn a lot of money. And in every mission center, some project will be running for which funds will be needed. And what are we doing? We are able to give there. Cord, the Chinmaya Organization for Rural Development. Uh, Harihara Vidyalayas, we, uh, myself, Manju and all, no, we used to go when we were uh, in Yuva Kendra to one Anand's free Medicare center in Tamare Pakam. So what is happening there? You have got energy. Yes, you use that energy there. Someone has got funds. They give funds there. Someone get medicine and gives there. Like that, I am accumulating but dispersing it off. The child tore and made the place nasty. 
the child itself collected and put it back into the dustbin place became clean same way mine i mine like that we have gathered so many things be it knowledge be it anything we have gathered so many things but then gurudev made us give it away also so that that e go has gone uh, baskaran ji was uh, mentioning what is special about human being yes he said ego true at that time i i acted as if i didn't hear very true we without our knowledge carry a big ego on our head and gurudev through this beautiful process has made us remove that e in tamil means a fly if a fly is going to fall in my tea glass i will immediately throw away the uh, fly right immediately take and throw it away uh, the, uh, i don't want to drop the dirty because i spent 500 rupees to buy it okay but i throw the uh, uh, e immediately same way he made us throw away our ego now this way okay this uh, uh, charioteer that uh, intellect uh, is given a direction for us to turn and move forward this mind and intellect the uh, uh, ramana bhagavan used to say in upadesha sara it is like jala pakshi jala means net okay in a net there is a bird net to solluva what do we say in a cage okay so there is a bird in the cage how long will it remain in the cage only till the cage is closed the moment i open the cage that so sweet nice looking bird will fly and go away if it is bird no we are not afraid go no problem like that we will say so we must take in the cage there is a lion our mind and intellect is so strong and powerful like the lion it is inside the cage lion inside the cage no problem inside the cage of the lion so i am saying oh lion mind and intellect okay i am putting lot of control over myself today shashti has started so i have said only one time eating ah okay one time eating only i said and then i said uh, uh, see every day you uh, shashti right every day six times you must chant kandar shashti kavasam okay like this i have put some regulations on myself and i am following it how long will this mind and intellect be like that six days over cage open immediately go to one shop there and ask for uh, pasta kud give me pasta yeah i said there give me paneer mutter uh, uh, masala and all that i like very much give all those things i start off as long as a control i am putting it is like that uh, with uh, uh, i say viveka shama dama vairagya like that i am sitting okay coming to satsang regularly in chitmia mission every day and i am sitting like that how long it will be like that wait for the satsang to be over that's all again it will come out like anything right so our gurudev no he had made this field only for this oh your uh, lion no it wants to enjoy music come sing bhajans in the satsang itself they will be chanting they will be kirtan also our gurudev made the feel like that come to our mahalakshmi temple you will get prasad i hope you are giving some prasad uh -huh. you will get prasad eat okay uh -huh. so he gave a field let your legs walk and come to the satsang let your legs walk and come to the uh, uh, ashram or the center let it come like that for us to listen okay so i am my mind goes towards knowledge yes my mind goes towards yoga yes my mind goes towards seva yes for everything he made a field and i could use my eyes ears nose and all those things which are those forces running anywhere okay running anywhere that i could give a field for it yeah uh, i in uh, uh, um, suppose uh, if you come to our chinmaya gardens in our ashram there are agricultural field also and there are grass fields also we have a goshala suppose and the uh, uh, calf was just born okay so i am leaving that mother free let us say if i am leaving that mother uh, 
cow free, what will that mother cow do? It will go into our agricultural field also where brinjal and the lady's finger and all of them are growing and it will eat that also. But I have got a specific field for that cow which is grass field also. What, will, what should I do ideally? Ideally, I must put a peg in the grass field, give a long rope for that mother cow to graze around and the rope must be as long as the distance of the grass field alone, not to go into the vegetable field. And my cow only wants grass, right? Something green. My cow wants only that. Put the tie that cow to that peg and what will the cow do? It will keep grazing in the grass field. My vegetables are safe. Grass field it will graze. How long it will graze? It will go on round, 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 round with that uh, and that rope also gets round and round the peg and slowly the distance keeps on coming less and at one point that cow just sits near the peg. Right? It just sits near the peg. Same way my mind and intellect also. Gurudev has given a big field. Go, serve. Go do some seva in the temple, in cord, in the center, do. And my mind is going round and round and round. Mind and intellect is going everywhere, round and round and round. Like the bambaram, which is top, huh? top also goes round and round. First big circle, like that it goes. Like that my mind starts rotating, thoughts going around, Chinmaya mission, satsangs which will be happening, uh, Arati will, will it be there, what will be the prasad today, okay? Uh, what song can I sing today, what bhajan can I chant, uh, what should be the prayer song and then let me participate if I am not uh, chanting alone also, let me participate with the team, like that going round and round and round. Can I get some dress for uh, Vastram for that Mahalakshmi? Yes, I like uh, Vastram and uh, big, big jewelry and all those things. Go to the jewelry shop, uh, whatever artificial jewelry also. Go, you like, no, all those things. Uh, look at all those things. Get all of them, but not for me. Me, thought is getting replaced with for my goddess, like that. So he created such a big field and I kept on going round and round and round. And how long will I do? And after some time, slowly I start moving towards what have I listened in that satsang? What is it that Gurudev has given us instruction through his various uh, uh, legacy that he has left behind? What is he telling me? What is the message that he is telling to me? I start thinking, again, you can look at my teeth. Again, it has come back. Okay, so I start thinking at all those lines and slowly the rope, the distance between me and the Lord, the peg is the Lord, me and the Lord, me and Gurudev keeps on diminishing to a point that I just sit there like that cow, reflecting, yeah, all that it has eaten, it just, uh, what, what a masticates it, uh, something, some word is there. Okay, it just goes on chewing like how uh, our youngsters chew the bubble gum. Like that, it goes on doing, yeah? Till it becomes its own and it has become digested, it is a part of it. Till that, it is doing it. Same way, I also, all this knowledge that I have gathered, I keep repeating it, reflecting on it. Second R, reflecting on it till that knowledge becomes my, my own. So first I stop my senses. I don't stop actually. Gurudev only gives direction for my senses. So I take the direction and then slowly I come to the focal point, which is the Lord alone. That is where I am. And then once I am there, then it is only relax. The third R, abide in this jnana. Abide in this jnana. And how do I know whether I have abided in this jnana? If I am hungry and I have eaten food, I will know that yes, my stomach is full. I will know. Same way, the moment I abide in this jnana, I will know. No other uh, pramana is needed to tell me whether my stomach is full. Like that our Shastra, our Gurudev and all of them say, ha I will know that yes, I have reached. This I will know. So, repeat, reflect and then relax. Repeat, reflect, relax. First, I am moving unto him. If we can put like these words also. Unto him. So many things. Unto him. I study so much. 
unto him I am doing, unto him. Then reflect and I am in him. And for this reflection purpose, I can take any of the Chin Maya name itself. His qualities I can take. And if we look into our Ashtotaram, Chinmay Ashtotara Shatanamavali, our Pooja Guruji has beautifully come out with so many Nama, which speaks about his qualities also, which speaks about his Nirguna, Swarupa, Stiti also. So Sakara, Nirakara, Swarupa also. Like that, so many names, Advaitic names, so many names of Gurudev. I can use those names only to reflect and be in him. So first is unto him and then in him and then as him. Okay, that, like how the cow has sat down over as him. And in fact, him alone. So this is how our journey in the spiritual path, Gurudev has beautifully charted out. Just that all the uh, visible things also which are there, whether the name or the form or the qualities of Gurudev or the instructions of Gurudev which are available to us in, through the legacy that he has left behind, which comes to us uh, through various pieces of the master who can be Brahmachari also, Grahastha also, Vanaprastha also, Sanyasi also. So through all those pieces, all of us uh, are pieces only of Gurudev, master's pieces only. So which comes through all of them, like big tower Gurudev, no small towers, big Artal tower, small, small towers to reach into various villages. Like that, through small, small towers in the form of uh, 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 books also, in the form of uh, uh, social media, through that also, whatever is coming. So all these things come and reach us. And the ultimate goal is, as him, him, that is our ultimate goal. Till then, Gurudev will be guiding us constantly. In Tamil, no, uh, there is a uh, one beautiful text called Kandar Alangaram, in which uh, uh, the author, uh, Sri Arunagiri Nada Perman, will be saying, Tadungol Manadai. Uh, Tadungol Manadai, Vidungol Veguliyai, Irundapadi Irungol, like that. Which means that, first, uh, uh, for our mind, which runs in various directions, just give it, just change the direction, turn the direction. Same things only you want, no problem. Just turn the direction. Instead of I and my pleasure, it is unto him, for him, like that. Just turn the direction and you enjoy everything. You want form, you want uh, uh, sound, music, you want color, you want taste, enjoy everything. Just turn the direction. Tadungol manadai. Vidangol veguliyai. So he has given us so much knowledge. Just give up slowly. Uh, negate that ignorance uh, and negate all those unnecessary uh, qualities that may be there in me like krodha, <coughs> anger. Veguliyai translates as anger. Anger means you mu we must understand desire, anger and all of them which are not required for us. Gurudev was encouraging us to give up all those things. Just give up all those things and then be as you are. Irunta padi irungol. And as we are is in our true nature only. That is as we are, we are. Okay. So that's how we have to move forward. And Gurudev has made such a beautiful uh, path and uh, shown us the path, given us the field and everything. May Pooja Gurudev's blessings be with all of us so that I may start as unto him and then in him, as him, him. For this journey, may Gurudev's blessings be always with us. And thank you very much for this beautiful opportunity given on this beautiful day, which is a very special day in uh, the southern part of India and all the devotees of uh, Lord Karthike also. That's why maybe from Kandar Alangaram, a uh, uh, line also came to my mind. Okay, thank you all very much. Now, I know that uh, if there are some questions, you will be asking some questions because uh, when the introduction, just as I logged in, Manju was telling that uh, last time uh, unmute was not done and so uh, questions could not be asked. So I'm passing it over to Manju now. Thank you, Amma. Uh, Hario, uh, if there is any question, you can just raise your hand. You can just ask. You can unmute and ask.
Amar, you are in mute. Uh, Manju, I think everything is pashtam, very clear. Simple also, practicing yes. only we have to do. Wonder what our code is, but then it's interesting to <laughs> hear these three. First, I thought I will write it as R R R, but then uh, if I write as R R R, immediately that movie will come into people's mind. So we put it as R cube. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Thank you. Are you, Mama? Are you? Yeah. Are you, yeah. everyone? Uh, I really enjoyed reflecting on uh, the thoughts that were uh, being shared with all of you today. Nothing is new. Everything is known only for all of us. And uh, uh, of course, all of us, with the help uh, of uh, each other, we keep moving on this path shown by Pooja Gurudev. So can I complete? Can we complete, Manju? Yes, Amma. Yeah. Shall I chant your Purnamada? Yes, Amma. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Om pur namada pur namidam pur nar pur namudachyati. Pur nasya pur namadaya pur nameva vashishyati. Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om Hari Om Over to Amrita and one minute Amma. Amrita uh, Hari Om so I would like to present a small vote of thanks uh, Thank you Amma for so beautifully explaining the three R's which are uh, repeat, reflect and relax so repeat uh, it was just getting together the different aspects which you have already heard over time, getting it into one uh, string in the sense of uh, um, we all know that Nama Japa helps us uh, improve our uh, closeness towards God and uh, Bhagavan and Gurudev. So uh, that way also, so, uh, even the buddhi part in the sense of uh, you are able to control your mind. So Nama Japa automatically gets you to control your mind into the chanting. So how you beautifully connected all those points, uh, even quoting the different um, texts, Supadesha Sahara, Kathopanishad, etc. And then uh, getting it back to uh, how once you reflect on the point, uh, you, you get to uh, relax and abide in the jnana that you have earned, uh, earned. And finally, you know that you are him alone. So uh, that is the relaxed part of it. So I, I the way you got it all together, it um, enhanced our uh, understanding of the whole thing. Thank you, Amma, for Thank you, Amrita, for summarizing.